How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rowlett and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today we're going to be covering a few more things. Now honestly, I didn't expect to be recording another video today after the first video we made today. I wasn't expecting to upload another one, but there are things happening and I thought it would be worthwhile to cover all of this and go through these subjects and talk about them as there is a lot happening. So, what's these? What are these? What's the deal with these? Um... Now, these are some logos that have shown up right now that look really good, to be frankly honest. They look really good for, um, for fakes. Yes, they're fakes. They're definitely fakes. We're going to discuss why they're fakes, at least why I think they might be fakes, but why they also look very good in a second. Um, of course, I responded here saying, holy shit, this looks really good. Uh, and, you know, Breezy here said, yeah, I saw your video earlier talking about uh, fonts. So these look uh, interesting and well made. And I agree, they, these look way better than the last logos I talked about in the previous video. But of course, I did say, looks good, but not real. Uh, and we'll discuss why they do not look real. And it has to do with the actual um, lettering use here. Because, you know, there, there's kind of like, you know, in, in Japanese, um, in, in Japan rather, uh, there is different, you know, kind of, I guess, alphabets almost, you could say. Um, you got hiragana, katakana, etc. Um, and basically, they, they're using a different version down here at the bottom text that says, you know, king and queen. Um, instead of using the same one they used for the, the you know, the text here that says Pokemon in Japanese. So we're going to discuss that. Also compare it to the original Pokemon logos and why there's something strange going on. Of course, these are these ones, but we're going to also search up a specific thing. I think Paul Ryan's tweeted about this. We'll be able to see. So give me a second. Um, but he mentioned this as well and we can bring it up. So yeah, here we go. Boom. Even Paul Ryan uh, tweeted an image here uh, that shows you how this looks like in uh, Japanese when they usually do it. So we're going to take a look at this, see what it has to say and discuss this whole subject in general here. So let's start with one of the first things here, uh, which is on the agenda, which is the logos themselves. They look really good. Okay. Uh, but the first thing you may notice, of course, is the crown and, uh, you know, the, the two crowns, the king's and the queen's crown. You know, these two, first of all, look really good, but they also do look like vectors. And I think the last logo, the one I talked about um, earlier today, if you th if you like look up like vectors on the internet, you actually find the vector that was used. Um, and it's very, <laughs> it's very easy to find those because there's so many on the internet uh, like those. There's so many of these vectors. I mean, you can sh see right here if I show it up to you guys, there's so many of the ve these vectors on the internet that you can use. They're, uh, you know, people just to quickly uh, skim off one of these and just use them. Uh, even like if you think about it, like uh, there was a video made by Nerd City where the YouTuber Jake Paul was using these sort of vectors or you know stock images um, of vectors, so to say, from the internet. Uh, to make his shirt designs, which was kind of, you know, very shitty, but, um, you know, stuff like that has happened, so I wouldn't be surprised if these crowns here were from, like, you know, just randomly from Google, I mean, it could be any of these or, you know, these down here, I mean, who knows, uh, crowns are very easy to find on the internet, so it wouldn't surprise me if these two were crowns just found on the internet, uh, wouldn't be surprising, also, you may notice here where it says 2019, 11, 23, uh, for some reason, the 11 and the 23 are larger, um, in size, which is kind of weird, I'm not sure why that's a thing, uh, but it doesn't make any and many make any sense why they would be larger. Um, I don't get that, but you know whatever. Uh, but again, back to the actual text here. Uh, as mentioned by Paul Ryan here, seems unf uh, seems a fair amount of alleged logos fly about. Can't see them going back to Gen Five replication or any other for the matter. Not to mention a long list of issues with the style. Uh, and he was talking about the, the 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 I think the logo I talked about earlier today, which I knew was fake. I already said that in the video. This looks fake as sh that that one looked fake as shit uh, because the font just doesn't the font is recognizable to me, which is one that they would never use, etc. 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 But if you look at the actual Pokemon logos, the Japanese ones, I think when he mentions, he mentions specifically like uh, Black Gen 8, uh, it was the, these ones down here. I think what he means by that is like, you see how the Pokemon logo goes like that there? Uh, the same thing happens here. If you look right there, boom, you've got the same thing going on uh, with the Pokemon logo. And also, I'm talking, I mean, all of these have the Pokemon logo in the corner. That's not what I'm really talking about. I'm talking about like the circular area up there, which they haven't done that circular thing uh, in anything besides Gen 5. So I think that's what he's talking about there, uh, as well as how, you know, Know, they kind of add this extra area down here, like this bottom part, where you can easily, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? You can easily kind of like, uh, you know, recognize how similar these are, like going down. Uh, and you can also see how they kind of cut it off in a weird way, sort of. But uh, yeah, besides that though, what else? There is also, let's see, uh, well, in terms of recognizable things, you will notice that the text here is in a different, um, you know, different alphabet, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what the mid middle one is. I mean, I don't know Japanese uh, alphabets. I think some of one of my viewers actually explained this way better than me. Uh, if I remember to find his uh, Twitter account and his tweets about it, I'll link it down below. If I don't find it, I think somebody in the comment section can figure this out and tell me exactly what I'm seeing, well, you know, what I'm missing here. But 
as far as I know, these are written in two different, uh, you know, two different, um, alphabets, to put it bluntly. Actually, I think I might have it over here, if I'm just gonna check real quick. I think somebody did mention this to me, so I might as well look into it and see what the deal is. Um, I might be wrong, though. Oh, actually, somebody I was able to, um, find a PNG of the crown. That's great. Okay, so we actually, we have a proof now. Uh, of the, uh, also, I need to mention another thing. Here we go, boom. So, boom. So, there's the logo, right? You got the crown right there. And here's the crown right there. There it is. Actually, how many circles is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's the same crown. Literally found the same crown. Well done. So, that proves it's fake. Literally, that proves it's fake. I don't even need to look into the actual font and text and all that stuff to prove it's fake. So, at least we got that proof now. Boom. That's debunked. Uh, that means we've debunked already one set of logos today, and we're debunking another set of logos. So at least we know these are fake now as well. So, these are fake. What else do we have to talk about today? Because I had some other subjects I want to talk about in this video. I had one large-ass rumor I want to talk about, but then I got something else sent to me that was very interesting, which I thought would be worthwhile covering, which was this email here. Now, I've actually taken out the name from the person who sent this to me, as I do not want to disclose their name, uh, but this was a huge ass message here, so I'll read through the whole message and tell you guys what it has to say to me, and we'll talk about it. So, hey Ruffle Rallet, my name is Na Na Na, and I'm an employee of Nintendo Canada. Basically, what my job enlists is to, uh, is, to is a different, wait, going to, wait, entails is going to the different EB Games, Toys R Us, Walmart stores to set up displays or provide promotional materials for popular releases such as the Nintendo Switch, Super Smash Bros, Super Mario Party, and the like. I was hired in on, on in August of 2018, just a few months prior to the release of the Pokemon Let's Go Beach Let's Go Eevee games. Recently, there was a conference in Toronto, Ontar uh, Ontario, for Nintendo Canada reps, and we were given an inside look into games that will be released later this year. At this conference, we are given information packages that include spe uh, specific details that we are allowed to share once the games have been announced. While not all games are included, there are some major surprises in the packages here. Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Maker, and probably what I found most shocking and exciting of all, Pokemon 2019. They haven't revealed the titles to the reps at my level yet. They, we are technically supposed to keep this information private until the time of release. But I have to admit, this part of my uh, job is very difficult. Especially as someone who has played Pokemon games for the past 20 years and, I'm proud, uh, uh, and is a proud and avid fan of the series. The information that I'm about to tell you is the, inf only, uh, is the only information I know based on what the package has stated. And I trust you understand that if you do use any of this in the video, please do not release my name or email uh, to the public as it would compromise my job. No worries, man. I won't release your, your name or any of that sort of stuff. You, you, you know how it is. Uh, first things first, the game is set to be one of the largest and most vast regions in Pokemon history, and most people have figured out, uh, most people have figured out by now, uh, is indeed based on the U United Kingdom, which... Okay, um, I still don't know if the UK is going to be it, guys. I know I've talked about it being the UK a million times. I know I've talked about all the hints and stuff, but I'm still a little bit torn on it. I know it might be strange, but that's how I feel. Second, the titles and starters of the games are going to be revealed on February 26th. Uh, 20, 12, 20, okay, so that's what everybody's been saying, though. On the 27th, there'll be a Treehouse Q&A that discusses the new titles and will feature the first official trailer for the game, which we uh, we were shown an early version of at the Nintendo uh, Rep Conference. The trailer features a look at many of the big buildings in the past games in the be in the beginning and then fades out. When it fades back in, a beautiful shot of a building base of the Big Ben and the Parliament building is shown. It pans across to show a London Eye themed Pokemon training facility. A small bird type Pokemon silhouette uh, flies across the screen, transi transitioning into a look at the starter Pokemon. The first shown is the grass starter. I don't know quite what it is based off, but it has a, t wait, a tail that looks like a vine and wraps around its body and the rest of it uh, wait, rests on the bottom of its neck. The fire, uh, the fire type starter was shown next a cute small gray orange rabbit, third, and probably what will be the most popular, the water Pokemon is going to be a wolf. That feels unlikely. I am not feeling this. Mm -mm -mm. This is where you lost me, buddy. This is where you lost me. This is where everybody loses me. When they talk about the starter Pokemon, they always lose me. They always lose me because I don't believe it. I don't believe we're going to get a wolf uh, for a water Pokemon starter. I just don't believe it. I ain't trusting it. I ain't trusting it. It just doesn't feel right. Also, uh, Rabbit. I've heard Rabbit a million times. A Rabbit still hasn't happened. I don't think this is real either. I don't know yet. Let's continue. We weren't shown any evolution, uh, evolu wait, evolutions yet, but I have a strong feeling that, based on the colors shown in the background of the video, when each Pokemon was shown, the wolf may end up being a war water dark at the end of its final evolution line. Pokemon Back and Pokemon Go will both have compatibility with the games after you reach a certain point. And if you have registered a Pokemon Back account before a certain date, you will receive an exclusive exclusive shiny Pokemon after you beat the first main line, wait, main uh, milestone within the games. 
within the game, sorry. Pokemon Go will connect in a very unique way compared to how they did in Let's Go Beach, Let's Go Eevee. Gyms are back and you earn badges again, but the gyms are a lot more interactive, kind of like Trials in Sun and Moon. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm gonna explain why I don't trust this in a second, uh, but either way, let's continue. The games are not open world in the style of Breath of the Wild, nor are the graphics as good as that, but it does have a very large scale feel to it, and the visuals are definitely a spectacle for the eye. Uh, weather system is back in these games, showing rain, winter, uh, wait, rain, winter, bright sh uh, sunshine, and heavy winds. Uh, the trailer ends with a look at Stonehenge-based area of the game. One of the stones in the middle begins to uh, glow as a group of what I assume is an evil team watches. It sounded almost like they were chanting something, but that may have just been the music in the trailer. The glowing stone then glows so brightly that it makes the screen go completely white, and you hear the cry of what honestly sounds like a uh, terrifying legendary Pokemon. This is where the trailer ended and it faded into a generic Pokemon logo with November Pokemon uh, November 2019 on the bottom. I'm assuming the titles of the games will be put in place of the Pokemon logo when the trailer is shown next week. The Q&A on, uh, on the days to follow are going to go over a few different aspects of the games each day. The first uh, day, wait, day focusing on the new and way improved uh, trainer customization, the starter Pokemon, and the professor, uh, the professor, a female professor again for this one. The uh, second day is uh, going to focus on the antagonist, so on and so forth. This is all the information I feel comfortable sharing at the time. There is one big thing I left out because I want fans to see it for themselves on the 27th after trailer reveals. It will blow people's minds and uh, should be a game changer. As I said, uh, this is most information I know at the current time, but I will be in contact after reveal with more few tidbits. Once again, uh, if you do use any information uh, for your video, please do not attach my real name to any of this. And don't worry, I have not attached your, attached your real name to this. Don't worry about that. If this ends up being real, of course, uh, I have not attached your name to it, so that's one thing. But at least now I have, uh, you know, if this ends up being real, then that would be really cool. I mean, the, the starters sound cool, but I don't think this is real. So I want to know your, your guys' opinions on this. Ladies and gentlemen in the comment section, please let me know. What do you guys think about this? Do you believe this? Do you do you think it's real fake, etc? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, we hit 6,000 followers, guys. Thank you so much for that. If you guys could also slide a follow still, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please do. Uh, I'm very active on Twitter right now. I keep posting 24-7, being active, doing things, all that sort of stuff. So please slide a follow. We're trying to hit 10,000 followers by the end of this year uh, on Twitter. So slide a follow over there. It'd be really appreciated. Also, so ladies and gentlemen, I just want to interject this really quickly here in the video, guys. Peaky Bird is actually saying that Pokemon News should be arriving before Pokemon Day. More info soon. It's actually happening, ladies and gentlemen. Even Peaky Bird, who's been correct and actually leaked stuff in the past, uh, who's like an, you know, like an insider account here on Twitter, they actually said here that we are going to be uh, receiving Pokemon, or Pokemon News should be arriving before Pokemon Day. More info soon. Ladies and gentlemen, something is coming very soon. I am excited. I'm ready. I hope you guys are excited as me. Oh, bloody hell, I'm so ready for this shit right now, ladies and gentlemen. I've been waiting for Pokemon news for a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Such a long time. But here we go, guys. It's almost here. I'm ready. Hope you guys are excited as me. Let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into it. Again, like I just asked in the video, if you guys could just do me the favor and letting me know your opinions on this. Letting me know your opinion. I mean, we know the logo's fake now. We know the logo's fake. So that's one thing. Um, so at least we, we debunk that. But what else is there out there, guys? Is there any more? I mean, I know there's a bunch of rumors, but I don't want to cover everything because there's too much, okay? There's too many rumors. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching, though. Let me know, your com you know in the comment section your thoughts about all this, and I'll see you all the next time. Have yourselves a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.